This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these simple interlocking letter logos using GIMP. And if you'd like to learn more about logo design, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy, which is a series of 18 videos where I go over my entire creative process for coming up with logo design ideas from start to finish. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So to get started here in GIMP, I'm going to create a new document. I'll go to File, New, and I want to size this document at 1280 by 1280 pixels. Click OK. And now I'm going to create some text on the document here. So I'm going to grab the text tool, which is over here. And if you notice in the tool options, the font that I'm using is called Orbitron Medium. Now you can use any font you'd like, uh, but I recommend using a font that has like a lighter weight that isn't too heavy because with heavier, with thicker, more bold letters, there's not much area for them to really intersect with each other the way that this design is going to come together. Uh, so you, I would recommend a lighter weight font. Uh, if you want to use this font here, Orbitron Medium, I think this font is the perfect weight for this sort of design. I'll put a link in the description to where you can download and install that for free. So I have Orbitron Medium set as my font. The size, about 600. And I'm going to leave everything else as it is. And I'm going to click on the canvas and I'm going to create a capital letter. The, uh, the letters I'm going to be going with for this tutorial are D and G. So I'm going to create a letter D. And now I'm going to click on the canvas again and create another letter. And this one's going to be a G. So I have these two letters right here and they're two, they're on their own layers as you can see over here. So I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm going to click on the first letter right here and I'm going to go to layer, crop to content. And I want to bring the opacity of that down a little bit so I can see through it. And I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm just going to put, position this up to the, to the left. And I'm going to take the letter G now. I'm going to do something similar. I'll go to image. No, I'm sorry, layer. Crop to content. Bring the opacity down. And now I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm going to position this letter where I'd like for it to be intersecting with the letter D. Now, if you notice here, the way that these two letters interact with each other, the placement where it's on the lower right, where the G's on the lower right of the D. It works out well for these letters. Every letter is different though, so you may have to play around. Like if you want to use different letters, you'll have to play around with it a bit to see where the best intersection point is. But for these letters, I think this looks good right here. So the goal now is I want to take the top of this G and make it look like it's overlapping the letter D right here. But I also want to take the D over here and make it look like it's overlapping the G over here, as you notice what I did here in the thumbnail. So to do that, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to work on the letter G. I'm going to make the letter G overlap the D over here. I'm going to right click on the letter G layer and go to Alpha to Selection. And then I'll go to Select, Grow. And I'm going to grow this by maybe 25 pixels. And now I'm going to create a new layer. I'll click this button that says Create a New Layer and Add it to the Image. Click OK. And now I'll go to Edit fill with foreground color and it's going to fill that in with the color black. And again, I want to bring down the opacity of this layer so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. And now what I'll do is I'll go to select none. So what I want to do is I want to take a sample of this portion of the, uh, the larger letter G here and grab that and then subtract it from the letter D. So to do that, I'm going to grab the rectangles tool and I'm going to click and drag to create a selection over that portion of the letter G there. And I'll press enter on the keyboard and then I'll go to select, invert, and then I'll press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. Now, if you're using a Mac, I believe delete doesn't work. You'll have to go to edit, clear. Uh, but for the rest of us using Windows and Linux, uh, delete should work just fine. And now what I want to do is with this new layer, I want to right click that and go to alpha to selection. And now I can delete that layer by clicking this little X icon right here. Now I'll go and activate the letter the layer where the letter D is, and I'll just press delete on the keyboard, and it's going to delete that segment from the letter D there. So now we can go to select none, and now we just have to repeat that process for the letter G right here. So again, with the letter D selected, I'm going to right click that and go to alpha to selection. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select grow. I'm going to grow this by the same amount, which is 25 pixels. Edit fill with foreground color, bring the opacity down a little bit so we can see where exactly it lines up with the letter there. It's good to be able to see through these intersection points while you're working. That's why I like to bring the opacity down. And now we can go to select none. 
And again, we're going to grab the rectangle tool and we're going to grab a selection point of where that intersection point is right there. Press enter to create a selection from that. Then go to select invert. Press delete on the keyboard to get rid of the rest of that letter. Now we can go to select none. And then again, right click on this new layer right here and go to alpha, alpha to selection. And now you can delete the layer. And then with the letter G selected, press delete on the keyboard and then go to select none. And finally, what you could do is you could bring up the color. I mean, I'm sorry, bring up the opacity of each layer, bring the opacity all the way back up, come back up here to the layer to the letter G, right click that and go to merge down. And now those two letters are on the same layer like that. And what you could do once you're finished is you can, uh, you could actually, if you want to give this some color, if you don't want to leave this black, what you can do is you can go to colors and click on colorize and bring the saturation all the way up and then start to bring the lightness up as well. And you'll notice it's, it's, it's adding color. And if you want to change the color, you can change this slider over here to choose your color. Or what you can do is you can click, if you want like an exact, like an, an exact color, like an HTML, uh, like a hex code, you can click on that and you could type that in here. Otherwise, you could just scroll through this and find a color that looks well. Like I'll go with this shade of blue right here, click OK. And now if you want this to have a transparent background instead of this white background, you could just turn off the visibility of the background right here. And then you can go to image, crop to content. And there you go. Now you have a finished logo design. You can go ahead and export that as a .png file and it'll have a transparent background and you could take that logo and put it on your website or put it on a mobile application or anywhere else in the background will show through those negative space areas. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating those interlocking letter logos using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.